Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. My name is Marky the Meso, and we're going to get straight into it. So we last left off where we're starting our first poem. Okay, so we gotta like describe our first one. Hmm. Also, where's Monica in that? But I do like these little like sticker cute versions of them. Okay, so do we want that? Awesome, vibrant, sunny. Let me see. Loud, hurt, scars. Promise. I don't know. Vibrant, probably. I like vibrant. Try that. Um, rainbow, nah. Dream. The universe is nice. Forgive. Somebody that's very forgiving is nice. Marriage, no. Ooh, puppy. We're gonna do puppy. Vibrant puppy. <laughs> Adventure. Uh, hot milk. What? Heartbeat. Destiny. Precious. Anime. Bed. Socks. Horror. That's kind of. Okay, so horror and anime. Um, no. No, no, no. I'm capable of that. Anime or horror? We'll go with the anime. Oh, that, yeah, I see they jump when I do theirs. I wonder what's hap what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just randomly clicking on like Frightening, tears, lazy, rose. Lazy, that's obviously her. I'm kind of lazy myself sometimes. Lust. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering which one that is. I would think that would be like maybe Monica. I don't know. I'm not really getting those vibes for any of them. I wonder. I just kind of wonder who would jump. Like that. Fireworks are nice. Daydreaming. I kind of do that often. Rose. Rose. Um. I'm not gonna do that. No. No. Uh, no. So daydream. Fireworks. I really want to see what lust does. Okay, we're gonna do that just to see who jumps, and because it was interesting. Together, I like I like together. Heartbroken, nah. Happiness is nice. Together, we're gonna do that. I like me. Charm, kitty, <gasps> dog, and kitty. Kitty. Oh, so you're kitty. So is she a dog or something like that? Color, 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 color. Nature, grief. Boop. <laughs> boop. Yeah, boop. I like. I like when they jump. They do. Trinity. Strategy. Uh, Ooh, games. Strategy. Tra I don't know why I can't say that. Correct, but we're gonna do games because I do like games a lot. Flea, cage, music, Valentine, Fester, sugar, family, insight, passion, culture. I like family, passion, and music. We're gonna do passion. Meager, fickle, unrestrained, unrestrained, treasures, spinning. Don't know what that is. Anxiety, fun, misery, pink. I don't really like pink, so. I'm gonna do fun. Kiss, uncanny, disarray, and will kawaii. Kawaii is nice. Um, special, warm. Determination is also nice, but we're gonna do kawaii, because kawaii things are nice, because they're cute. Some, I think most people like something somewhat kawaii. Unstable headphones. Secret. I don't want so many secretive. I don't like secretive people. I don't like being secretive myself. Despise, prayer, twirl, play. Oh. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze, guys. Give me a second. Oh, sorry about that. Bless me. Very sorry about that. Excuse me. Twirl, play. We're gonna do play. 
So I think I'm mostly doing these two, it seems. I wonder if this, like, this is what you do to choose what path you're gonna go. Swimsuit. <laughs> Joy is nice. Clouds. Electricity. Parf. Parfit? Whistle. Defeat. Suit. Hmm. Cute. Let's do cute. Question. Excitement. Bubbles. Explode. Atone. Waterfall and trophy. Agonizing dance and illusion. Excitement. Yeah, see, I keep on doing those two. Hope. Romance. Poop. Poof. Doki Doki. Sunset. I wonder what Doki Doki is. Summer. Climb. Climax? Why? Peaceful. That's good. I think peaceful would probably be her. It's too peaceful. Oh, wow, really? She's peaceful? Giggle. Giggles can be scary, in my opinion. A girl's giggle, some of them are pretty scary. I know a few that have scary giggles. Um, candy, desire, disaster, contamination, jumpy, pee, sticky, nightgown. Why are some of these sounding weird? Um, peace. Is uh, peace or giggle probably? I'm gonna do peace. Tenacious, misfortune, imagination, blanket, marshmallow, pout. Ooh, that pout is kind of nice. Cause I think like you know like you see anime when they pout, it's kind of cute. Inflammable, embrace. Embrace is also good. We're gonna do pout. Playground, papa. Pier. I like Pier. Depression? No. I'm not gonna do anything sad. I'm gonna do like a nice one. Amazing. Hopeless. Judgment. Mouse. Sensation? We're gonna do Pier. Analysis. Bliss. Starscape. Captive. Friends. Infinite. Shame. Interrogation. Party. Pain. We're gonna do Infinite. So I wonder what I did. It's probably a mess. I'm so sorry. Hi again, Marky. Glad to see you could run away. You didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for coming. Thanks for keeping your promise, Marky. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. And you do? Suri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well... Let me check my notebook real quick. Um, let's see... Clubs, 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 clubs. Nope, not seeing any. I'm not seeing any clubs on that list. Um, and last year too. Yeah, of course I did. I don't know if you plan on just come here and hang out or what. But if you th if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Are you threatening my life, Nasuki? You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Nasuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Nasuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Marky always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. True, I do. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Okay. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I, I might be a little jealous. No, no time for jealousy. How come? You and Marky can become good friends too. Uh, um... Sorry. Hmm. 
What was for lunch today? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation that she just put me into. Oh! Uh, oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? W wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, made it sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Me? Yeah? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. That's the issue. You're not thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First off, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal, if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I, oh, I knew it was mad. In my head, I was like, it's a book. It's probably a horror book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, could you know, discuss it if you wanted. Sure. I like that, like, side view. It's pretty nice. I like that hair going over her face a little bit. That's nice. Th this is how a girl accidentally uh, is accidentally being cute. She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much, and her not knowing me at all. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone has settled in, I, I expected Mona to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Suri and Monica are having a cheerful, cheery conversation in the court. Yuri's face is already burning, bur buried in a book. I thought it was saying burned like a book. <laughs> um... I can't help but notice her intensive expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging through the closet. R in the closet. Ugh! I hear Nasuki utter an ex- a One second. An expressory- expressory- ex- mm, Sigh from within the closet. Doesn't matter. She seems to be annoyed at something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point if you keep your collection organized if someone is just gonna mess it up? Nasuki slides a bunch of uh, stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Ah. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyways? I heard you bring it up, Asim. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Ouch. What is that supposed to mean? I I see. There's a long there's a long volume of manga amidst a stack of various various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stacks. There it is! Nasuki shot, uh, snatches it out of my hand. She then turns a box of manga and slides the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get closer to look at the box that she's admiring. Hair fate girls it's a series I've never heard of in my life that probably means it's either way out of my geograph geographic or it's just simply terrible if you're gonna judge you can go in through the glasses on the door go through the glass on the door she points at the classroom door hey I wasn't judging or anything I didn't even say anything it wasn't the tone in your voice, but I'll let 
but I'll tell you one thing, Marky. Consider this a lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. That makes sense. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parafit Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. The features of the girl in colorful attire, striking animated fem feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Just don't stand there. What? So, sex, sex. Sex. Satsuki. Oh my gosh. So many words that I'm not good with. Grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Then takes a seat. Then takes a seat. She takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seals. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling for me to sit there. Man, she's opening up with me. Would chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Ah, uh, I guess it would be easier to be close together like this. D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Nasuki crosses her arms and scoots an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly bad, a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Nasuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. I do. I mean, like, after I re do the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. Same thing, sir. Maybe sometimes after I reach the end of the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happening happened yet, so I can just talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of uh, friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make it up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess you know, I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginnings is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at an ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's a, all kinds of drama. Like, when they get into their backstories and some of the romance starts to happen. Yeah. That's where it really makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? What? Nasuki gives me a little shove. It just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm. Good save. Ah, uh, this chapter seems. This seem. This chapter seems about. It's all about baking. This is just a, a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Nasuki pouts for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. It happens to, I happen to get into baking around the same time that I got this manga. Like I would ever do get in anything because it's just a manga. I feel bad for anyone that in in impressionable. Aha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Anasuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention that she's really good at it, too. So... Who am I to judge? Aw, oh, don't give me that look.
We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring you? It's not. Even though you're watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with somebody else. It's always to get I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't? Uh <laughs> like how like that's not Well I wouldn't really know. What what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Like I would ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. A lot of people think that. I can't even bring it up w without them being like that. In fact, it's actually probably quite the opposite. There's some manga that's for kids, but it's more for like young adults, teenagers. Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know uh, those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess... So I guess I gravita gravitated towards the other losers over time. Ouch. That hurts. Well, okay, I guess. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it on my keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found out about this. Or about it. I don't know. Just let me check. If he found this, yeah. At least it's safe for safe here, safe here in the classroom. Except Monica is is kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So, aha! Jeez, that's enough. Aren't you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Nasuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Nasuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Nasuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a start. It's a stark contrast to her usually bo bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with somebody like that, and being able to prove that Nasuki. For whom is rare experience? The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready to read? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Although you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Nasuki s suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Or not just say a good foot. Oh, I see why. Alright, guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Nasuki. You're, you're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Ah, uh, yeah, but Monica just said, Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? Yeah, uh, I, I read manga as well, and, uh, let's just say that I read it 
pretty decently to where I need like a few volumes to keep me busy for a night. <laughs> I'll read like a, so they'll have like those like three volumes in a chapter that's like this thick of a book of manga. And I'll read like two or three of those a night. I always like would run out. But that was, that was like a few years ago. Only like, you know, it's like three or four years ago. I still read manga here and there, but now I read it on my phone or on my computer. Occasionally I'll read it on a book, but, because it's nice to read. I say that mostly because I did I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It wouldn't be for it wouldn't take forever for you to finish it if you didn't take it would take you forever if you didn't take you finish if you didn't take it. My bad. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I kill you. Silence! I kill you! By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. Wimp. I might fall behind on some show shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's if that's a necessary fight. sacrifice in, this, uh, in exchange for seeing Nasuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of why, what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I already turned to where I put my stuff and carefully slide, slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Sadly. Yeah. My, relax my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I've wrote something before. I wrote a really dark one that was like really cool before. And then I wrote like a normal one before. I think my dark one. Don't know where it went though. I couldn't really find much in inspiration since I never really done this before. Well now, with that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait. Sorry and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sorry's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose loaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. That's probably what I would do. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I stand. I don't know what that word is. But I have I don't have the best handwriting, that's for sure. I don't have the worst, but I don't have good handwriting. Natsuki and Yuri uh, wrecked rec reluctantly comply as well reaching into their bags I do the same myself who should I show my poem to first uh soon not Suki just because I've been spending time with it. then we'll do Suryori then I don't know that's Suki I don't know Suki I was interested in her poem history that too it's probably only fair if I share mine with hers first Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Nasuki reads reads my poem. Never, never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this. Then I could have at least done other things going. Mm. In fact, remembering how I said I wanted to read your poems, that's what I had in mind when I when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. Also, mine's not. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature is like. Oh, so I did a good. I did a good. Yay. Okay. And you went and ruined it, sorry. I hope you're happy, kind of. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Erk. Natsuki's re uh, resort gets caught in her throat. Ugh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that if you don't have it 
to go announcing it to the world. But I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're so you're all self-important. Pretty sure you you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Nasuki is really must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she likes my phone. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? You're fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me do if I don't. Alright. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can call can leap. Okay, let me restart that. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's all about it. That's not bad. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. I, I do like it, actually. Like, really, I do like it. It wasn't that bad. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all... ...sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even know how to take my writing serious. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. I like it, like in this poem. Seeing everyone going around doing great things can really be dis disheartening. So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice things about simple writing as that it puts more weight on the other word on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhythm at the end, but then make it fall flat on purpose. You did. It helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it when then I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect it from the youngest one here, did you? You are the youngest. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh, do I have to do every single one of them? Can we fit that in this episode? Uh, okay, we'll do one more. We'll do Siori, and then we'll end this episode. Hi. This is a good poem, Marky. Thank you. Are you sure this is your first time? Technically, no. But, yeah. Of course. It's not that good. I'm just the kind of guy who would be writing, writing poems in his spare time. Oh, am I? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impresses me. Impressed. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. She takes me as a fool. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. That makes more sense. I'm really ha happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that just doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Marky. Deep down, you're just not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people can do. Thanks, Yori. Sorry. I'm not sure if Yori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Kind of. Knowing how much it means to her and all. True. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, then I'm going to go hold you to that. Then. Yay! 
Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Is it gonna be like an actual crumpled paper? Eh, we'll see about that. Oh, it's not. That would be cool. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepiness from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you test? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I'll trust you too. If I wasn't, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, I would sleep forever. But I am not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> the end just ruined it. <laughs> That's so like her. Sorry. This is just a guess, but. Could you wait until this morning to write it? No. Just, just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. Whew. Sorry about that. I've been working a bit hard today. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like that. Like it was a bad poem. It just came, it came out nice, or how oh, should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially with that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? My bad. Is it bad to skip breakfast? I'll get all cranky. Well, I guess there is no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica is the best. What does this have to do with Monica? Ah, yeah. The next time I won't forget. I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright, guys. I think that's all we have for this episode. It's all the time. Uh, it's a little bit longer of an episode, but that's fine. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.